Bonjour, Yusuf, and I hope you are all doing really well at home and uh, staying safe. Uh, for today's first lesson, uh, it's going to be a PowerPoint. First of all, you need to have your sounds on, so turn on your speaker, please. And uh, because of a lockdown, parents and students, yourself as well, can have access for free uh, Pearson eBook. You just need to click on the link, uh, hyperlink, and then click eBook. Check you've read the terms of conditions and then go on to Dynamo 1 and you can view ebooks as if you have the books in front of you. If you have uh, your exercise books with you, uh, can you please write today's date and title? The date is lundi le 27 avril and the title is Ma Famille. If you haven't got an ex your exercise book with you, can you either write in a notebook somewhere? Uh, like a French notebook, or can you type it on a Word document and save it into your folder? So for the dinner activity, I want you to lier numéro 1 à 19 avec A to S. So basically, I want you to match up the family members in French, number 1 to 19, up to, uh, with the um, family members in English, A to S. Et voilà les réponses. Les réponses sont 1H, 3M, 4P, 5I, 6L, 7Q, 8J, 9G, 10C, 11F, 12R, 13S, 14D, 15B, 16E, 17O, 18K et 19N. Now, if you look at the French section, number 1 to 19, as you can see, all the mon words refer to members of a family that are male members of a family, like mon père, mon frère, mon oncle, mon cousin. And all the ma words, expression, ma expressions, like ma mère, uh, ma soeur, ma tante, all refer to female members of a family. And the me expressions, like mes parents, or my grandparents refer to family members that are, include more than one person. So what are we going to do today? We're going to introduce a family with names and ages using the correct version of my, mon mame. So you can revisit different versions of how to say my, family members in French, understand numbers in a number of age description, remember to use avoir meaning to have in English when you say on it at the age of someone, you don't use to be, but you used to have in French, and use age and name to introduce some family members. So this is the aim of today. Uh, homework for the next French lesson, which I believe will be on Thursday, I want you to learn uh, for a quizzing test, uh, dans, dans, in Déclis-moi ta famille, I want you to learn from la famille up to les parents, from la family, up to parents. Uh, now, in your exercise book or on your Word document, um, I want you to do the listening number three, page 84. Écoute, copie et complète text avec les âges qui manquent. So it's a listening task when you need to copy, copy and complete the text with the age that is missing. And the listening, you'll find it on the audio uh, ebook on page 84. Et voilà les réponses. Ok, so voici une photo de ma famille. Ma petite sœur s'appelle Lou, elle a 8 ans. Ma grand-mère s'appelle Marie-Claire et elle a 72 ans. Mon grand-père s'appelle Eric et il a 75 ans. Ma mère s'appelle Sandrine et elle a 36 ans. Mon père a 35 ans et s'appelle Benoît. Et moi, je m'appelle Anna et j'ai 12 ans. Now, all I want you to do next is to translate this text into English, just to see how much you understand. So, traduisez ce texte en anglais, s'il vous plaît. Et voilà la réponse. Here's a photo of my family. My little younger sister is called Lulu, and she's eight years old. My grandmother is called Marie-Claire, and she's 72 years old. My grandfather is called Eric, and he's 75 years old. My mother is called Sandrine, and she's 36 years old. My father is 35 years old and he's called Benoit. And me, my name is Anna and I'm 12 years old. 
So when you look at that, you can see different versions of Ma. You've got Ma, Mu, and uh, I think that's it, Ma, Mu. And uh, when you talk about the age of someone, you don't use is, meaning E, E, S, T in French. It's use avoir. So it would be either J or L, R, or L, R in French. Now, what I want you to do next is this. Prenez une photo de famille, votre famille ou celle d'un magazine, and décrivez cette famille en utilisant le modèle ci-dessous. So that is in English. Uh, pick up a picture of your family, either your family or a family from a magazine. Describe this family using the model underneath. Then I want you to submit this piece of writing. So I want you to submit your photo presentation through Show My Homework. If you have chosen to complete this work on a computer, then upload the file you have created. If you, chose to, if you chose to write this, please take a photo of your work and upload it this instead. And remember, we've got uh, quizzing first thing on the Thursday. Thank you very much. Any problem, please uh, let me know, send me an email or a message on Shoma Homework. Thank you very much. Au revoir, les enfants.